Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 24th. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Daniel chapter 2, and John chapters 20 and 21. And our thoughts are, blessed are those who... We have a remarkable set of readings today, probably the most remarkable and thought-challenging in the whole year. First in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, we have Jehoshaphat's impassioned prayer, which is dramatically answered. Then in Daniel chapter 2, we read of the remarkable dream given to Nebuchadnezzar, which Daniel reveals to him, and then gives the king the interpretation. This reaches its climax with the words, The God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, nor shall the kingdom be left to other people. It shall break in pieces and all these kingdoms and bring them to an end, and it shall stand forever. Verse 44. Our readings then climax with the last two chapters of John's Gospel, which detail the appearances and teaching of Jesus after his resurrection. The disciple Thomas was not there at first, and he would not believe Jesus was alive. He had surely witnessed his awesome death being among all his acquaintances who had followed him, and who stood at a distance watching these things. Luke chapter 23 verse 49. Thomas declares, unless I see in his hands the mark of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. John chapter 20 verse 25. Then later, Jesus appears to them all. And this includes Thomas, who then declares his belief. And Jesus says to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Verse 29. May we be so blessed. John ends his chapter by writing, Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. This means you may have eternal life to be wonderfully given when Jesus returns. And, oh, how soon now? We are awed to think his return is now very near. And to quote the climax of Daniel's interpretation of the king's dream, to be there at that time when the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed and shall stand forever. Blessed are those who believe. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path in a wicked generation. Mm -hmm.